Okay, so this is a quick example of exponential discounting. So over on the left here, we can see that we have our exponential discounting function. So what this is saying is that if I were to receive a reward um, immediately, it would have its full value. But as the reward is delayed in time further and further, then what we're saying is um, I dis I discount this more and so I'm, I'm multiplying the reward by this discount factor. So this is shown over on the right hand side here where we have um, two possible future rewards that we are considering. So one of them is about six months um, in the future and the other one is in a year's time. But the one in a year's time is uh, double the size double the magnitude. Now the question is um, how should I discount these rewards because they're both in the future and what choice should I should I make? Well um, that's a difficult question but according to exponential discounting I should discount um, according to this particular um, curve. Now I could have a different discounting parameter so here it's set at what is effectively 0.3% uh, um, per day. Um, but I can move this and show that basically if I discount at a much lower rate, you can see that the discount function is shallower. So a reward um, in a year's time will carry about 80, 80 or 90% of its um, full value. Correspondingly we can see that um, we would have no problem in this particular situation um, waiting for the delayed reward because it has its full value. Whereas if my discount parameter increases what we can see if you keep your eye on the right hand graph here is that there's a particular point at which here we go, where the um, current subjective value of both rewards are equal. So this would predict, if I was discounting at this particular rate, this would predict I would be indifferent between this reward at six months and this reward at um, 12 months. But bear in mind, up until now, we've, all, we've pretty much been choosing the delayed reward. But let's say I discount um, very steeply, I have a high discount rate. Now what we see is that the present subjective uh, value of the sooner reward is always higher than that of the delayed reward. So something to kind of notice here is that as we change the discount rate, no matter what it is, we basically either have the situation where we have a clear winner where it's the delayed reward or the uh, sooner reward or we have a situation where we are um, ambivalent. Now what we don't have with exponential discounting is any way um, of these curves crossing over and this is a byproduct of the, the nature of exponential discounting. So what this means is that regardless of whether someone prefers the sooner or the later, they will be consistent in that choice. So this means they um, do not exhibit preference reversals, and so they're rational in this particular sense of um, having consistency in their preferences over time.